Hello YouTube, Pro Gaming Eyes or Handsome here, and today we're doing a throwback of Wizardry Proving Grounds of the Mad Overlord. I am doing this game in honor of Wizardry Online, run by Sony Online Entertainment's Closing Down. Uh, not the best at this game, never really played it, never beat it. Never really even put two minutes into it. So, let's see how we do on my first full playthrough. Hello YouTube, welcome back. Uh, that was just a trick. I am actually going to be playing Wizardry, Tower of Forsaken Land. Uh, still in honor of Wizardry Online being shut down. Uh, hopefully I get the final episode recorded by the time that the servers go offline. So, let's start. Uh, since it's the first episode, we will be going through all the basics and all that happy crap. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Of course, if you know this game, you already know the storyline, but I barely played it. Under the wall of a beautiful queen, the sacred town of Dohan enjoyed a long time of peace. Woo, queens, yay for the queen! However, a sudden flash from above destroyed the land and all burned to ashes. Woohoo! Meteor! Sephiroth has succeeded with the beauty of the castle. And the town once crowded with people was now covered in snow. Snow? What's wrong with snow? I got, I got snow outside. Well, if they need more, I can give them some. One day, an adventurer set foot on this land. As the adventurer appeared about the town of Dohorn, there was an emptiness, a sadness. The adventurer began to roam the town, uneasy with Heavy footsteps. Woohoo! Yay for unease! And the tale suddenly unfolds. Now, if you guys ever seen Wizardry Online or ever played it, it was a really fun game. Uh, servers are being set down in the US on June 30th, I believe. Uh, this game goes out to my guildmates at Chaos. Uh, hopefully, watching this will make them remember all the good times we had on the game. Uh, not too sure though. Uh, name, name. Uh, I'll pick the name that my close friend used on there. Except I can't really put it all. Uh, so I'll abbreviate. Uh, he was known as Fazuko. But since I can't put it all, I abbreviated for fire. A race is one of five races that exist in this world. Each race has a distinct special ability, such as dwarves who excel in strength, yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Uh, One thing they have is Gnome and Hobbit, when the game, they had, uh, what was it, Porkle, and one other one, forget. Uh, my friend was an elf warrior, which is what we will take. I know it's not really that good. Uh, he was a good. Uh, and we will go with the warrior. Uh, for this, we really want to get some life up. Just because it's one thing. But the warrior is the fun. If you're an elf, you're actually going to have lower health due to specific being better in magic, so needed to get the life up some. Uh, and here we go. Wish me best of luck. First full series. A cold wind ran through the demolished town of Dohan. As the snow seemed to dance like white flowers in the wind, a ghost-like shadow faintly emerged. A man, barely able to support his weakened body, 
propped himself unsteadily on his sword. He looked as if he was wounded. Swordsman, last night I heard a strange voice. Okay, that, that voice doesn't sound that good. A goddess of fate whispered to me that Savior shall arrive in this cursed land. And that person will end the chains of suffering for all eternity. <laughs> so, are you the one? No, I am not. I am not sure whether this is a good thing or not. <laughs> His sarcastic laugh resounded throughout the town of Dahorn. Do you really think you can gain what I have lost? If you lost it, you should go find it yourself. If this is the case, I regret not dying before your arrival. I would have been able to die without that fickle goddess's notice. But, but she's not fickle. Very well. I assume my days are over. Follow me. I shall guide you to a tavern. You shall be able to find what you're looking for there. Now, uh, one thing about this game is the tavern isn't called tavern or notified as tavern, so... The right-haired swordsman disappeared like a puff of smoke. And the swordsman said earlier that he'll be waiting at the tavern. Uh, the options are kind of strange. Uh, you have all these places, lodgings where you heal up and all that stuff. Then you get the vigor shop to buy items. The labyrinth, which is where the main quests and all that take place. The bar, also known as the tavern. They don't say tavern. Why? I do not know. I guess it should be implied that the tavern's the bar. But some people don't really know that whole thing. The guild where you can recruit people and hire people to join your party. And then the save data area. The Salem Temple. Uh, not really sure. I forget what Salem Temple is for. I'll find out later on as we go along. And, um, yeah, let's go to the bar. <clears throat> As you enter, there is the swordsman. The people here shall welcome your presence. Since their losses in the flash, this place is flooded with people who are searching for what they have lost. It will be a challenging task because some are looking for their dreams and some are looking for their loved ones. But in any case, they are precious memories to each one of them. They have not been able to retrieve those things after the flash. It shall be your duty to fulfill their quest. Eh, I don't want to take the quest. I want to go do my own crap. But uh, as you see here, is where you check out your party, view spells, items, trap practice, and that other stuff we'll get to later. Uh, quest list has your quests. Uh, Clarence Ricardo, help me believe that trust is an integral part of an adventurer. I know it's an odd quest, but it's important to me. Uh, the other one is from Kiyu the Ninja. I've lost my pride as a ninja ever since I was faced with death. Will you help me conquer this fear so that I can stand tall in battle? Uh, for now, we are going to go with Kiyu. I'm going to try and get both of these quests done today. Uh, that'll be this video's challenge. A ninja quickly pushed his way through the crowd and approached you. The swordsman said that you are recruiting people for your party. And here is Q the ninja. If that is true, would you mind taking me into the labyrinth? Uh, he was polite, but under his hood was a sharp look in his eyes. The look of defeat. He introduced himself as Kyo Hattori. We ninjas have grown up to live a different life than most people. We have trained our bodies and minds throughout our lives to defeat one enemy. That enemy is fear. 
warfare changes people. He goes on talking about how he wants to help conquer his fear and all that, so, um, yeah. We're gonna help him. But I guess I never really met my true enemy. His true enemy being death. Q stopped talking. Although he did not show it in his expression, his subconscious brought back a dark recollection. I was no doubt a warrior until death appeared before me. I was laying on the ground, quietly avoiding death. My body was turning cold and darkness was marrying me. There was no feeling of ease, just darkness. It was darkness and death that seemed to swallow everything. But um, as you can tell, he's scared of death, so I mean... Yeah... He's not a true ninja. I feared for the first time in my life that only my body moved. When I was miraculously rescued, I was no longer a warrior. I had turned into a coward. I lost everything instantly. He used stop talking. His reluctance kept his mouth tightly sealed. Please help me regain my pride as a ninja. The pride that I have lost. I just need another chance, like Sean Connery. I've never been much help to anyone, but I'm willing to do anything for that chance. So now he's joined our party, and um, yeah, we get this stupid little furry tutorial crap. A brief tip on his personality, Q, he has a strong sense of justice, he would be a dreaded opponent to anyone who goes against him. He also has the composer to be kind to those who are not hostile. So if you battle monsters that are friendly, you will be hurting him. Uh, we will also take up the Ricardo quest because I believe it's very easy to get both of them done at once. Uh, I'll find out. So, you Yeah, I know. Man of a thousand voices here. Accepting my quest. A warrior approaches you. He started speaking without introducing himself. I want to know if trust is actually useful in an adventure. Oh god, that's good. I know it's an odd quest, but it's important to me. His name is Ricardo Dorfus. He mentioned that he has been as far down the labyrinth as the third floor. I used to be in a team before. That's where I learned that people work individually after all. His story is he was in a team, but they all worked for themselves and basically they all died but him. Right, they all screwed themselves over and didn't cooperate. So yeah, we got to prove him that teamwork is important. If you lost your life, they probably just say you didn't have enough ability. They only cared about, you know, themselves. Like a lot of people today, he continued to talk with a worry grin. It was on this one mission. One of our party members was caught by a monster. I hurried to help him. He was one of the guys I got to know pretty well. Yay, pretty well friends, I guess. I couldn't just let the darn beast eat my friend. The guy lived, but he stopped talking and smiled weakly. My careless actions caused a failure of our mission, so I was let go. The team leader told me that trust ain't worth shit. But I don't think so. That swordsman said that you are different. So I have a favor to ask you. Show me if trust is really useful in battle. If you're the kind of leader I have been looking for, I'm willing to sacrifice anything. But no, we don't want you to sacrifice yourself. And now Ricardo has joined us. Okay, so there's the two quests we can get right now. Uh, as we do stuff in the dungeon, we'll unlock more. Brief tip on personality. He's full kindness. He values commodore more than throws from adventure or battle. 
you will lose his trust if you act in a way that values your selfishness more than your comrade's life. So, um, if we save our allies and all that, his, you know, he'll see that trust is very well needed. Uh, time to exit. Just because I hate this whole starting area, I'm going to save real quick. The whole starting spiel of do this, do this, do this, it's a little annoying, so saving right now, and then we're going to the labyrinth for our very first dungeon run. Uh, the labyrinth of Dahan. Oh, Guardian Orc. Master, that here. Oh no, those, Trace. There be three of them. Because the Krusty Krab pizza is the pizza for you and me. And so, you finally come with the ones who you've met. Three is a mystical and superior number. Since ancient times, it has signified a new beginning. Even if each of you is powerless, you will be able to come overcome many difficulties with a combined effort. But you will need trust for that. Without trust, even a strong won't stand a chance to live. It is not something that you can develop overnight. Only time and hardships together can create trust among you. Now, the swordsman stopped talking. He looked fixedly at your party with his piercing blue eyes, as if he was trying to search for something. All right, the labyrinth is ready for you. I'll be waiting ahead inside. Don't you dare die before you reach me. <laughs> I'm Costa. I'll be waiting too. I see you later. Yay for a cabal or an orc or whatever. You killed them a lot later on. What a strange guy. There shouldn't be any qualifications needed to get inside the labyrinth. Especially since the queen is encouraging people to go there. Because the queen is evil. In any case, he doesn't seem like a bad fella. It may turn out to be fun after all. You may be right, but we need to build a good reputation first. Once we have a good reputation, others will want to join us. And then, that should help us with more of our adventure. There's no need to rush things now. Besides, there's some truth in what he said. We're going to have to enter the labyrinth anyway. Dexter's lab. Why don't we just tear him out for a while? Hmm. Sure. I guess we could. Okay. Let's get going. And here we go. Now, uh, up in the corner is your stamina, which uh, is used for running. Uh, there's a mob. Damn it, that damn hobbit. Shit, I'm gonna strangle him. This ain't no sword that can kill anything, it's just a plain sword. Kabolds are sounding at each other in the distance. What are we gonna do? We used all her money. Miss Virgo is gonna kill us. The Kabolds are approaching you. This is, I believe, your first fight? Uh, what are you looking at? Out of my way. Or else we'll eat you for breakfast. Ooh, breakfast. Speaking of which, it's 10 o'clock, I could go for some breakfast. Oh, I got it. Let's get money from these guys. Ah, yeah, genius. The Kabolds have attacked you. Here's your first fight of the game. Tutorial, basically. And, yeah. I believe Ricardo can handle one on his own. I just can't really remember. Oh, look, that's Q. Has double swing. That's right. Kabolds have about 15 health. Yeah, Kabolds have about 15 health, so they can easily handle things, you know. Uh, got 80 XP, 20 gold, woohoo! And sorry for that bit of lag. Hope it doesn't do that all the time. Damn, we'll remember this. Next time we meet, you're not leaving alive. The cabal ran off with the tails between their legs, like little doggies! Um... 
yeah, we're flashing on leveling up. Those who reach through quality XP, the status panel on the bottom will be illuminated. When your status panel illuminates, try staying at the lodge. After you stay, you will notice that your characters have leveled up. Now, those missed uh, character uh, enemies, so you might want to watch out for them. Uh, sorry, I'm really fickle about getting the whole map unlocked. If you hit L1 and R1, you go sideways, you can turn and all that. Alright, there's an enemy somewhere nearby, I just can't find him. I think he's in that door. He will attack as soon as you open it. Uh, oh. Oh, ran into him anyways. Uh, we got some slimes here. Uh, slime, 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 slime. Uh, slimes are weak to magic, but um, as you can tell, I don't have magic right now, so all our attacks will have to do. They don't do much damage. Oh, wait, I can one shot them? Okay. Since the high level. Like Labyrinth Mall, that in level is the 1 through 3. They don't really do much damage, so don't really have to walk out for them killing you. Though they do get a bit annoying. No, uh, you do get a good bit of EXP from them early on at 100 EXP. Ooh, treasure chest, do I open it? Ah, yeah. Uh, I'll have to try to open it. Oh, we got a field stone. I uh, can't remember what those are for. Okay, we got a mob there. Oh, and apparently we had a mob behind us, which I didn't see. Uh, these guys can be a bit annoying as they do a bit more damage than the slimes. Or they used to? Did something happen since I last played this? I think they got weaker since I last played. And one escaped, which, I mean, that's no problem. The enemies in here do that. They also call on allies, so I mean, it's not that terrible. Uh, let's check this out. Yeah, I can't open it. Uh, this is a, I think, a trap chest. Uh, I'll have me open it just in case. Oh no, transfer potion. Um, everyone does have their own inventory along with um, a shared one later on. I think. Can't really remember. Uh, master power up a spell to restore. As you can see, the kin master next to it says what classes can master it. The warrior, knight, monk, ninja, priest, bishop, samurai, I forget what the T is, thief, that's it. So with this, the, you know, but that is a level 1 priest spell. Uh, I honestly don't remember how to do that. I'll look it up later. Mobs do regenerate behind you at times, so you kind of got to keep an eye out. One good thing is early on. Oh, crap. These are good guys, you don't want to attack them. So, just flee. Oh, never mind, I started the attack, so. And I gotta finish this. Oh, never mind, I did get away. Uh, I'm gonna have to heal pretty soon. But you can hear the enemies. Oh, there he is. So let's go on through with this. Shoot, the big toads are 
bit annoying as they have good range, so you want to take them out as soon as you can, while also getting out the little guys. And there's the reason why you want to take out the frog first. Uh, have Kyo attack John Toad because of his double swing at times. And there you go. At least I saved someone from dying. For well, if he were to attack Ricardo, he would have been dead. I just do an all out attack. And there's that. But you gotta learn which enemies early on can cause lots of damage, such as the big toads, and then worry about getting them out of the way. Uh, what do we have here? Two slangoos. Okay, slangoo and slangoo. Let us see if we have anyone. Nope, no one has any spells. Let's see, use one of Ricardo's killing pots on himself and on you. Uh, let's see. Ninja can learn this, he's a ninja, so he was able to learn it. Uh, so now a ninja has a heal. So there's that. Sadly, he has a low amount of MP early on. Oh, we got someone there. Yeah, let's go through with this. Ah, the cat ladies. Uh, she's in the back row, so I th she's also melee, not magic. So she will have to wait until she gets up to the front to do anything to us. So luckily we can take these guys out and then take her out and yeah we gotta take out the boggy cat quickly because of this she can get lots of damage in quickly so you wanna stop that Okay, luckily she missed him. I think I have three levels each person, so I might want to go level up soon. Show you what that's all about. How much MP does a guy have? Ah, uh, crap, he's out of MP. What strength for person do? Yeah, we'll use this and return to town, just so we can level up and work on that. Then we'll go back and work on our missions again. And keep her. Take care! Um, yeah, it would have been nice to have her with us, I forgot about her. Uh, also, um what you answer to people also decides your uh, neutrality basically between good, neutral, and evil so after the flash many adventurers have been attracted to the labyrinth I heard there were secret treasures hidden deep inside there's a rumor that whoever is able to get those treasures will be granted any wish if the queen is encouraging people to labyrinth for her own greed I'd be very disappointed Many adventurers have lost their large church in the labyrinth. The priestess looks uncertain. She was dissatisfied with the queen's scheme. I don't think the treasures are worth anybody's life. If it gets too dangerous in the labyrinth, I'd recommend coming back to rest. Sleep will prevent you from getting ill. It is the best way to heal your body. Sleep will also help you to develop attributes. A famous sorceress once said, We develop while we sleep because we meet with God in our dreams. So you need to value life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After this, I think she has a mission for us also. 
and so I might go get that just so we have a priest with us for heals. Uh, yeah, I had a few level ups. So, all neat. Still not bad, I mean, it gives us attack and health and all that to better survive. Um, let's check to see if he does have a quest. Just because I want to get a priest on our party soon. Quest list. No, she doesn't. Dang. Uh, so we gotta get these quests done without dying. Yay. Go back to the labyrinth and continue on through. Uh, the mobs will be there again. But even then it's more EXP for me. I forgot how to remove the map. Uh, red shadows like that indicate that that mob is very hostile. They saw you and they will attack. I uh, got two unknown shields, which are good. Who are they going after? Hope oh, that one's coming for me, but that's okay. It's a brigand, I think. Oh, look. Uh, just take these guys on. They do a lot of damage, but they don't have a lot of health, so they're easily disposable. Uh, I'll have a card to open this. Now, um, if you guys do know of Wizardry Online, it was a great game. Uh, the guild I was in Chaos was, I think, the biggest on the US server. Or oh, one of the most well known, I should say. Crap, should have turned, should have turned. Uh, the leader Diablo was, you know. Uh, yeah, see, if monsters are friendly, you can just leave. Don't want to attack them, or else you will have a hard time dealing with Ricardo's mission. And there was another one. Uh, the orcs do an okay bit of damage, but they're not the main problem. The harpy is. So you want to take out the harpy, just like that, and then worry about the orcs. Most of the orcs do, I think, is. Ooh, the harpies are like the cat ladies, they do a bunch more. So, yeah, worry about the harpies and the cats and the slimes, or the frogs first before everything else. Oh, there's another guy. Oh, slimes? That's not bad, I mean, 100 EXP, I believe. One thing I wish that you can do is attack multiple enemies, but at this point, early on, he cannot. Later on, you do get skills for team battles where your whole team does one big attack, but that's not till later on. Uh, let's see, where to next? Uh, let's take him out. Because Kyo, if the enemy has enough health, he will do a double strike, but it's only on one enemy. I wish he would attack one and then go and attack another. That It would be nice, but it would be too overpowered early on, I guess. As you could clear out whole waves, basically, with just him. So, I get why they did that, but still. out over there, nothing. Uh, check out this room. Uh, the instant you entered, there was something different about the room. Oh crap, what is this room? 
Several boxes are aligned neatly to form a desk. The carpet was rolled out as to welcome guests. The room contained a scent of liveliness, something that did not exist in the lab one. Uh, I think this room has a bunch of mobs living in it or something. Uh, something down in these. And the desk. I think later on you have to come here for a quest. Filming with Ricardo. Uh, yeah, you can search by hitting X. But um, nothing there. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of enemies up here. That is not good for me, considering how much health Q has uh, to that spell priest. Still only at one MP, so I'm gonna have to wait to. After this, the cat will move up and we can focus on her. The 40 cats are annoying at early on. Three in a miss isn't bad, but whenever you get her doing 10 and 7, and all that whenever your characters only have 26 health at level 2 for the 1 it can be a bit hard uh, the pixies aren't that bad oh crap surprise attack oh wait okay okay they're not that that bad but I mean they can be annoying So you do want to take them out. They're mainly a support to heal, but they do have high damage at this point. So you want to take them out while also working on the other. So have the best attacker take out the pixie quick. Just like I did. Uh, I'll have Fazi go open it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, two broken swords. They're okay, but right now I don't really need to worry about them. As they give you swords and all that later on. The swords, like the broken sword, the unknown shield, you get appraised and you get repaired. So that you have better items. But like I said, right now, it's just one of those things. You really don't know what to do with them, you didn't do a tutorial yet with them, so... I think that's what the Solemn's Temple is for. Yeah, yeah, they appraise, they heal, and all that there, so... You really wanna... Go there whenever you feel you have enough gold and items that need appraised. Should be entering the area to get down a floor soon. Which I, oh, okay. So, Q. Sorry, but can you wait a moment? I'm ashamed to say, but my legs won't stop shaking. I almost lost my life just up ahead. I know it's all in the past, but I just can't forget it. So yeah, he talks about how. He almost lost his life up ahead, and you know, with him, he's a really great member, so you want to encourage him. He's a good alliance and all that, so you want to keep your alliance up good. So you encourage him, and you know, uh, Ricardo, don't worry about what team. Hey, Faizuko, don't you think we should go where Kyo almost died? If you keep avoiding that place, you'll never be able to recover from your fear of the past. So Kyo, where is that place? If we keep going straight ahead, there should be an altar in a snowy area. In front of the altar is where I was lying. Lying, 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 lying. Lying, lying, whoa. Lying, lying? Oh, I can't remember. Got it, the snowy altar, right? Then that, then what are we waiting for? Uh, I think the altar he's talking about is off this way. I just 
Oh, there's something engraved on the wall. It looks like writing, and this is what it says. To go to town, use a transport poster, and you'll be there instantly. The mighty warrior o Odon. Odon. Odon? Odom? Totem? Obon? Ovon? Okay. So basically, that guy who you met, the warrior, the swordsman, is the mighty warrior. But, um, he keeps his identity hidden just because of what's going on. Uh, Imperial Quarters, um, I think you can rest here, I can't remember. Oh gosh, what should I do? A priestess stood bored in the room. If this is the same priestess, yes it is. Huh? You had one. Yeah, we met at the lodge, right? Are you here to get a pass also? Uh, we will do the stopping by since that's what we're doing right now. Since it's governed by the royal family, you won't be able to go down the pass, go down the labyrinth without a pass. So I was pretty sure this is the room to get a pass. Uh, I think this is where you get to the last room you saw. Uh, as you can see, her party members have left from what she said. And this is where she joins you. It's, it, it's really, really good because right now we're about to get to the really hard hitting enemies for our level. So, I mean, having a healer is really, really nice. Sarah McDuff. The Sarah McBuff. So now we have to find where the passes are. Why the heck did I swear I heard a call up in here? Uh, if you look at the mini map in the corner, the areas with green are basically neutral areas. No mobs go in here and you can stay in here and all that. Uh, we really have to f continue finding that area for for Hugh that will solve his quest. So um, we're about to go look for it. Uh, pretty good amount of mobs out here. I think once I get this all done, I am going to end the video. I've already been going for 42 minutes. So, um, oh, that's right. Uh, got the for her. Backline members are best if you have mages and all that back there. So that's why I have the priest back there right now. Not just because he just joined, but still. They're best at healing from the back. Later on, you do get classes that need to be back there to do anything major, but yeah, not right now. And then that orc will die also. They all can level up, so after this, I'm just going to, after I get the altar, I am going to transfer potions out and go heal. And my stuff level up and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, this is the altar, so let's go. Uh, make sure you go along the edge to get this. It's a trap chest. Uh, has the, he has the most HP. Uh, yeah. Trap chest, you get things like that. Where you have to enter the combo quickly enough. And if you get it, you get the item. If you don't, you get damage such as poison, spikes, falling rocks. Run over here. I know you can run and deplete your stamina, which slowly increases. I just can't remember how. I'll fidget with it in a bit. Uh, there's the altar up there. Turn get this first. Uh, at the altar, we do have a battle, I believe. I just can't remember. Like I said, it's been so long. Hopefully I get this done by 15 minutes. 
I really don't want to go 15 minutes. And here's the altar. It's right here. I was laying here by the altar. Yay for altar fame! Kyo walked slowly towards the altar. He gazed at the cracked and worn altar. He whispers audible. As frightened as the cold and fatigue numbered my senses, one by one, the sub claws of death held me firmly as it tried to pull me into the darkness. I struggled. I desperately pursued the light in order to fend off the darkness. I tried to recall the bright memories I felt in my life, but I had nothing. I was always alone in my memories. Not even a memory of a friend filling my mind with nostalgia, nor a loved one whose wounds my hurt just by the thought of her. No, I had nothing. The only thoughts that existed were of despair and regret. Kyo lightly brushed the snow off the surface and walked back. Since then, I have been plagued with nightmares. I thought that if I returned to this damned place, my fear would return to haunt me. But in reality, it hasn't. All I see is a chunk of stone. Maybe I was wrong. Death cannot be overcome. It is a fate no one can escape. Then, trying to fight death may just be useless. For darkness, it's always buried in my heart. I'm afraid I have wasted your time. And, um, I think he heads back to town. No, he stays with us. Okay. Uh, make sure I got all chests, yeah. Got a mob here, let's kill him. Uh, cat lady and two slimes, okay, that's no problem, that's no problem. Uh, take out the slimes first, and then work on cat lady. See, Q, even if you miss, you still get that swing. People in the back line throw daggers, like you saw with of a Sarah attack. Uh, there are some mobs that that's good against, then others that it's not. Uh, let's see. Six. Yeah, no miss. Okay. You see missed. Crap. There's two. I thought I should be dead by now. There's a crit. One of the screen does the inverted colors. That's a critical hit. It's basically one hit at time. Most of the time, actually. Uh, main bosses, it's not. Uh, let's see, transfer potion. Uh, I think the other path back here is the one we go for Ricardo. Uh, I think. Not too sure. I'll find out. I know I said I wanted to go back to town, but yeah. All my characters can level up at least, so whenever we get back, I'll do that. I'll sleep. Oh, got a back coming. Oh, not anymore. Then got boards or orcs. Uh, those boards we met at the start of the dungeon, they will be coming back at a later point. But they're not really, really bad right now. They're basically the re recurring enemy besides death. Critical of one. One is the loneliest number you could ever have. Yeah, I know people, I know, don't sing. this area out and um, check this there's a skeleton on the ground and I think this is Ricardo's friend Kahaha, the people have bowling for the bait nope never mind it's the kabolds nope just some mobs I'm getting my mobs mixed up 
if you do get attacked by mobs from behind, it will be a preemptive strike like this. So they will get the first hit. But these guys aren't that big of a problem until now. Uh, okay, they're not attacking. Ooh. I was scared they were attacking Carter there. Um, gonna have to go back to city real quick. Oh, and end it, I should say. Just because everyone's low on health. There's a small shield under eclipse. Uh, yeah, this is Makoto's friend. The name of the person it belonged to is engraved in the shield. Scott Bain, the wolf of Gascony. Those thieves must have killed him. Hold on, can I take a look at that shield? Makoto held the shield and gazed at the engraved name. It's his friend who he saved. Kurt approached the dead body and crouched down. He examined the body for, to look for something. I thought so. That dead body? He was the leader of the team I used to be with. I had no idea he was dead. He wasn't somebody who would get killed easily by thieves. That's sad that he doesn't even have someone to claim his body, especially when it's this close to town. What a pity. I really wanted to confront him because of he was the one who kicked me out. But it's strange how nothing will come out of my mouth now that he's right in front of me. Damn. And I wanted to teach him a lesson one of these days. Getting revenge would do nothing. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to get you guys involved. Let's um, use a transfer potion, go to a lodge, level up, and then go to end these quests soon, and I will be done. Gold is pretty easy to get in this game. Sad thing is, as you get more gold, so does the price of everything else go up. But um, as you see, I'm leveling up pretty well right now. It's not till a little bit later that it gets annoying to level up. Go to the boy, turn these in, and that's all, guys. Uh, I guess I didn't complete them yet. Great. Well, either way, I'm gonna save it here. And I'll see you guys next time. New episode should be up tomorrow. Uh, not sure yet on uh, what time. Still gotta get into the regular basis of timing and all that. Uh, see you later, guys.